welcome back to the channel guys it is me 8744 so today guys as you guys can see right here guys i'm reacting to my qualifier predictions guys so we're gonna be reacting to the euro 2024 qualifier predictions i want to see how many got correct how many positions i got correct i don't know what you, i want to know how you guys did in the comments below guys so it's gonna be very interesting to look back at these grips i'm gonna get make this around five to ten minutes ish you know around ten minutes is probably the length i'll try to make this video so i'm gonna quickly run through these groups and the concise way because the actual full video i did was like 30 minutes and that was way too long so to keep to save you guys the time i'm just gonna go through the video and just put out the positions here rather than re-watching the entire video because that was that would take too much time save you guys the process so for group a guys this one was pretty straightforward in the sense of which team would come first which team would come fourth which team would come last it was always going to be that second place spot between Scotland and Norway. And I ended up predicting Scotland for this one because I I think in my video I said that experience would come in clutch. And Scotland had more experience than Norway, and which is why Scotland prevailed. So ultimately, I'm proud of that prediction. It was probably an unpopular pick. I think Norway was actually more favored by majority of the people I've seen in the community. So I'm glad I did not go with the majority on that one. I'm glad I stick with my own gut and I predicted Scotland. So that was a good prediction on my part. Group B, I don't think there's uh, much analysis to be done here. This was pretty much spot on, pretty much straightforward. One of the most predictable groups. I don't think there's much, there was really much to be said there. So I'm glad I got this one spot on. Group C, um, another group that was pretty much also pretty much fairly predictable. It was all, like I said, though, it was a second and third place battle that was always going to be very tricky to figure out. And ultimately, Italy just about squeezed through in second place with a nil nil draw. And they could consider themselves very lucky that they did not concede that penalty right at the end because that was a very controversial moment. It could have ram massive ramifications in how this group ended because Ukraine would have got second place with that win and Italy would have got third place if they had lost, of course. So luckily, though, for Italy, VAR was on their side. Referee didn't check and they survived a huge scare because I believe it's like towards the last minutes of the game. So it could have been very, very seismic. Ukraine had won that game, but you know, it is what it is for that one. Um, for the game group D, man, this is where I took my first L. I did really, really badly for this group. I am ashamed of putting Turkey in fourth place because that one was actually very embarrassing. I think the reason why I put them Turkey fourth was mainly for the fact of what they did in the Euros, and I just felt like for me, they weren't really that convinced the World Cup qualifiers. And I just feel like for me, I just did Turkey really harsh in those predictions, and I really do need to apologize. So I'm I I'm very I apologize for my terrible predictions and I will make sure that I will not be this be pretty tricky to do this bad um ever again in the qualifiers. Maybe the actual tournament I may have to, you know, change my mind there, but as far as the qualifiers though, Turkey is actually pretty good. Like that's what I've actually come to realize. Tournament mode they could be a bit weird, but you know, we'll get you know, there there's gonna be plenty of months ahead, so We'll see how they do there. But anyways, Armenia third, terrible prediction there. They ended up finishing fourth. And they honestly should have done better because they lost to Latvia. They're the only team in this group, I believe, that gave Latvia three points and that ultimately costs them significantly. And the Wales in second place, yeah, this team doesn't look that great. Um, but they're home, they're good at home. And I think that's the one thing that they have over the other teams is that I think their home form was probably the best in this group, I think. Other than that really bad defeat they had to Armenia at home, their home form has been really, really solid for the most part. And then for Croatia, man, they ended up, um, you know, qualifying. They didn't actually top the group, though, as I predicted. They ended up coming in second place, which was kind of a surprise. But ultimately, Croatia, as I said, they're a team that usually just qualifies through in some kind of fashion, whether that be a top or a second. And most of the time, they try to do it the hard way by going through the playoffs or just about squeezing through qualification just on the final match day. That's how they're generally known as, which is kind of, Odd to say in some regard, but yeah, it is what it is. And obviously for Wales, Gareth Bale retiring is something I probably should have put more factor to my predictions. I don't know why I didn't, but you know, I'm going to be looking at the rosters more significantly next time to make more informed well predictions. Group E for this one, guys. I think for this one, I messed up really badly. I predicted Moldova last. They ended up finishing fourth. That was really, really bad on my part. So in the four islands, they ended up finishing last, not fourth. So Browns were really disappointed. And the third, Albania, man. Albania is a very fun team. I think they're one of the teams that many people didn't expect to see in the Euros. And the fact that they actually managed to beat Poland, Czech, um, you know, is actually incredible. They actually managed to beat both nations, which was incredible. And they have some great they Their manager is playing some great football. Silvino, I think, is the main man. And he came from Brazilian football, man. And he's just it's just crazy to see how successful he's already done with Albania, guiding them to the second time ever year appearance in their history which is absolutely incredible 
And obviously Albania, they score some lovely goals, score some beautiful long range efforts. Anyways, I think I'm speaking too much about Albania in this prediction, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy for them. They actually proved people, a lot of people wrong, and I predict this Czech Republic second and Poland massively flop big time. They are they are in the playoffs still, so they do have a second chance. They better make that second chance count. I'm just putting this out. The group F. Um, this one was pretty straightforward. Um, in terms of uh, third to fifth. I knew Sweden were going to do it. They've been a horrible form for the last couple of months, so I knew they were going to do it. And it was always between that second pl- always between the Belgium and Austria for that second and first place. I went with Austria because I felt like Austria are more of a settled unit than Belgium. There were a lot of uncertainties, although now that I see a lot of things, I think Belgium have improved significantly under, um, what is their coach called again? Tedesco, I think they have improved. But like I said, though, this isn't really a good group to base your measurement off. And I think the Euros will be a great indicator to see how have Belgium really progressed from their golden generation. But yeah, and for Austria, man, they just fell short with their home defeat to um, Belgium. That ultimately costed them them in the end. Right. Um, so yeah, moving on to um, um, Group G here. Another pretty much straightforward group, I, although I did predict Bulgaria to... Fi- Predict Bulgaria to finish fourth. They ended up finishing last. And look, we need to finish fifth. They ended up finishing fourth. So one thing I will say, though, is that I'm glad I predicted Hungary at top of the group because I think a lot of people were probably predicting Serbia more. I knew Hungary were more of a settled unit. They had more experience. They were more well-organized, whereas I think Serbia is a bit too hot, top-heavy. Like, as good as their attack is on paper, where is the defense? Where is the midfield? Like, I don't think it's on the same level as their attack. Their attack, for me, just feels a bit too good. Or the like in it is just not really sustainable, and that's ultimately why Serbia lost some games against Hungary, and ultimately why they just about scraped through, man. Because on the final match, they needed to equalize against um, Bulgaria at home, I believe, and that's just not good enough, man. Like, how are you in a losing position against Bulgaria at home is really, really shocking to say in all that regard. And then Group H, this was a pretty straightforward group. I predicted um, North Island San Marino last, which was great. I predicted Slovenia fourth, which is really bad. They ended up actually coming through in second place where well, I do need apologies for that one shout out to Slovenia man they actually play some good football and they actually have some good solid they have a good solid team man and all block man shout out to him he's going to finally play his first international tournament and then I predict Kazakhstan to finish fourth they ended up finishing third um and then I predict Finland to finish in second place they ended up finishing third so ultimately this group was pretty close for that second place spot ultimately though I got the other spots in the group correct which is just as important as the you know, the second place, obviously. And then Group I. Um, and Dora finished last place, which is to be expected there. And then Belarus actually ended up finishing fourth. And Kosovo missed, disappointed me big time. They they really need to start performing better. There got to be serious questions. Like, the federation needs to change or their manager needs to get sacked. And then fourth place I predicted was Romania. That was a horrible prediction. They ended up top in the group, which was insane. So shout out to Romania. And they got a huge win over Switzerland final match day. And then I predicted Israel to finish the second place. And they ended up finishing third. And I just feel like for me, similar to what I said about um, Norway um, and um, what is it called? Serbia. I feel like this team is way too good attacking-wise, which is great. But I feel like defensively, they're not that great. And their midfield isn't really that great. you know. And I think the, the political situation might have also be affecting the players, which I'm not going to get into here. But maybe that also costed them indirectly qualification. But... You know, it is what it is. And they did play four games this last month, which is a bit... Maybe they didn't have enough time in between the games. I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to be too nice here. But yeah, Israel, there's really no excuses that can be made for this one. Then obviously Switzerland. I predict them to come first. They ended up coming second, second place. Moving on to the final group we have here is Portugal Group J, guys. I predicted Liechtenstein to come last, which they did. I predicted Slovakia to come in second, which I'm glad with. And Portugal first. Let's go look through my second and fifth, though, third through fifth, because this is where I did really badly. I predicted third was Bosnia. They ended up finishing fifth, even below Iceland, which is a huge disgrace, huge embarrassment, because Iceland have been so bad for the last couple of years. Iceland have been so trash. And for Bosnia, man, this is embarrassing, man. I'm sorry. The team that they have on paper is absolutely ridiculous. And for them to actually come fifth, and this group with a minus goal difference is unacceptable, man. It is unacceptable. Things have to change. Uh, then I predict Luxembourg to finish for the end of finishing third. So those are my predictions, guys. I predicted 30 of the 56, meaning that I got 53% correct, I believe. Um, 
This is right. I think 53%. Let me actually double check the math here. I think it's 53. No, sorry, 56%. 56%. So I'm pretty happy with this prediction. So I want to know what you guys think of the comments below, guys. Let me know your predictions, comments below, guys. Remember, guys, like and subscribe. Comment below your thoughts, comment section below, guys. Make sure you guys also can become a member of the channel, get access to members, members streams. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.